just for um, FYI, I've decided since I've actually got three open PCIe slots in my computer, I'm trying to get the light in here so you can see it better. Um, I'm actually going to put it on this top slot here because I don't know if you can see it there because of the power cable. I've actually got an empty PCIe slot right there, right above the video card. So I'm going to pop it in there only because it's easy to access. And the reason why I haven't taken the computer out and do it all on my desk or whatever uh, is because I've got so many connections on the back of the computer that I'm afraid that if I unplug everything, I'll never find the cables again because I have, you see the back of my desk. It's like a, uh, a disaster area for cables and wires running every which way. It's pretty, pretty awful. But anyway, um, uh, I'll go ahead and pop the card in and I'll be back. Or actually, I'll just leave the video running and pop the card out. We'll do it this way. Is this a magnet? Oh, how cool is that? <laughs> Love technology. There we go. Just uh, finished putting the last screw in, got it all mounted in, and now we're going to head on into software. All right, um, I've got the computer back together. I'm getting ready to turn it back on. But since I mentioned the mess of wires, I did have to show you. So um, I still have my, oops, I still have my DAW pulled away from the wall. Um, as you can see, here's what we've got. Don't mind this. This is my little girl's stash of, excuse me, my little girl's stash of um, uh, little littlest pet shop stuff. She's a big fan of that. She, in fact, she's got her own little YouTube channel herself. So uh, anyway, uh, that's that. But you can see I got tons of wires all up and down, running back and forth. I mean, power supplies, USBs, you name it. So anyway, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put this camera on a charger because it's about to run out of batteries and I'm gonna fire this up and go through and hopefully the whole installation on the on the plugins works out okay rock on hey guys I'm back okay apparently I didn't pull up an automatic configuration wizard here on uh, Windows 8 so I went ahead and uh, reinstalled from the archive that I had the uh, UAD plugins version 5.8 which is long been outdated I think it's from 2010 um, but it's one of the, and I forget exactly what version number they actually converted to UAD2 only and basically disabled your UAD1 cards if you had any on the computer. Um, so I went ahead and went with the software I know still works on UAD1 because I'm, I'm not getting rid of those cards just yet, probably in the next week or so. Um, so I don't want to lose all my cards right up front. So um, anyway, so I went ahead and I basically reinstall the software again you know you selected the same VST directories and so forth and ran the uh, install program for version 5.80 uh, again and you can see I got my congratulations you are done um, and it looks like it's got four cards listed there uh, and then a hyper something or other and system and some hyper threading something or other so must shut down and restart. And let me click no for now. Now let me, for giggles and grins, authorization update available. You should download updated. Uh, not now. Oh, it looks a little different now. UAD2, system info, it only has a UAD2 card. Ha ha ha. Let's go ahead and restart. <laughs> I'm just coming into Windows 8 again. And we'll see now if, after installing the software, if it finds my cards all over again.
Okay. Oh, well, look, now we got a UAD2 and a UAD1. That's kind of neat. System info. All right. So now what we were showing here, and by the way, I had to, again, it didn't come up on its own. Uh, I guess typically you would probably run the software on the disk when you install the card into your computer, and you'll probably have less of a hiccup. Uh, but since I didn't want to disable my existing UAD1 cards, which are the outdated ones, with the new software, uh, I went ahead and reran the install from the old software, which still supports both cards. So now looking at my system information, I've got a UAD2 solo right here, which I can turn on and off through that little button there. And it shows your memory and your DSP, how much you're using on that one. And then on the UAD2, uh, UAD1 card, I have one here, two, three. So I have a total of... Let me see if I can stretch. No, I can't stretch that window out. So I've got three UAD1 cards here, and then I have a UAD2 card here. So um, the install went okay, uh, and of course, like my my plugins are going to be all jacked up at the moment because everything's showing. Us, I need to start a demo uh, because now what's essentially happened is I've added a um, a new card to my to my licensing so I need now now need to download a new authorization file to reauthorize all the existing plugins that I've had so um, I'm not gonna bore you guys with all that that's all stuff on the website and so forth so um, anyway uh, well that's all I had for the install on the UAD uh, 2 card the solo um, I'll probably go ahead here in the next week or so upgrade the sec uh, a second UAD 2 card into my system and remove the existing UAD 1 cards and then the computer and DAW will be ready to rock. That's all I had for today, guys. Sorry for the boring um, uh, how-to, I guess, or whatever, or install on a, on a DSP card for your DAW. So anyway, hope you had fun, enjoyed this, and found it educational. Uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll talk to you later. Rock on.